Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a funnel like this. So let's go on to a blank slide. The first thing we need to do is go to insert and select the shape called trapezoid. Then draw a trapezoid of a nice size like this. Uh, the next step is we need to flip it upside down. The next step is right click on the shape and select edit points and then hover over the bottom edge of the shape and right click on it and select curve segment once we have that you know you can see this nice curved shape for our top layer of the funnel the next step is we need to add an, an oval shape at the top so for that go to insert select a circle then adjust it just right at the top that makes it look as if the the top portion is uh, almost 3d in a sense it's hollow inside and then the next step is just to repeat this for as many levels as we want in our funnel so copy the same trapezoid shape and then reduce it in this in the size so that it aligns nicely below our top layer and the same thing for the oval shape now copy it reduce its size so that it fits in between and then keep uh, going on depending on how many layers you want in your graphic so i'm just going to speed this up because you don't need to watch me do this for every single layer So once you are done building all these layers, the next step is to create this bottom portion. It's really uh, these concentric uh, ovals at the bottom. Select a circle. Let's first create the cen center portion and then we can continue building outward. Process is similar, you just have to keep selecting the ovals and depending on which layer you want to have a white fill and which one you want to have a dark fill you can alternate between those like so there is no right or wrong way to do this you can feel free to create as many circles as you want so let's speed through this in this case i am going with one two three four four circles and maybe add another so you can really spend a lot of time refining this so like you can see me doing here is that I'm stretching the ovals a bit more from the bottom side because you know we are trying to go with a 3d look and you know when you are trying to get that perspective it's not a symmetrical oval it's slightly stretched from the front side you know that the side that's closer to us to give it a more believable look so once we are happy with the bottom portion we can just group it together and then add it at the back of our funnel graphic the next step is to refine our funnel right now this is like a solid fill but we can you know add some gradient fill to it just to give this a more 3d look if you look at a 3d object if it's hollow the colors at the the bottom edge would be a lot more darker because there would be less light there compared to the top edge so that's what we are doing here and then the next step is to you know give these different colors so I'm just going here with an orange and then a yellow orange and finally a green color. And for the middle, these middle ovals or middle uh, shapes, I'm choosing a tint of the color that's above it and just making it a bit darker. We are almost there. 
Then the final step is just adding the labels and arrows. This is pretty straightforward. So I'm selecting the line from the insert menu. After that, the final step is adding in the text. So I'm right now I'm just calling these level one, two, three, four, and so on. But in your case, this could be anything you want. So there you have it. I have provided a link in the description where you can just download this graphic and use it the way you please. If you like this video, please click on the like button. It helps us out. If you would like to be notified of the future videos, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.